What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And today I will show you the first video of me competing in England at the Royal London Pro, where I won my Classic Physique class and became an IVB Pro League professional which is absolutely awesome for sure and I want to show you guys exactly how it went down a uh, couple of days of what I did there what I spent there um, just how I uh, you know experienced the whole experience so without further ado let's start the video enjoy all right so the competition the Royal London Pro is of course in London Stratford London and the Olympic Park, the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, where the Olympic Games were, and right there you can see where the flame used to be in 2012, which is pretty awesome. And this is the actual hotel in which we stayed during our stay in London. So, right here we are in the hotel room, and we just arrived and I of course need to check my shape after having flown with an airplane although the airplane did only fly for 45 minutes it's still a stressful event if you have to wait for hours and stress and wake up early and stuff like that so right here my coach is checking out my shape in the hotel room not the best lighting but hey he can get an idea and you can right away see that my shape especially my legs are better than they were before now we're moving on to a different lighting different setting to see it a little bit better I'm of course a little bit flat still because we had to make weight. Remember, I still did not weigh what I was supposed to weigh at the weigh-in. Since I'm a little over 6'2", the limit for classic physique was 237 pounds or 108 kilograms. And right here, as you will see in just a minute, I still weigh 109 kilograms. So we really had to play around with fluids, with water, with carbs, with salt, with sodium, and stuff like that to get my weight down fast enough. Because the weigh-in is on Friday, and right here it's still Thursday. Here I'm doing a side chest and you can see, you know, only when you get very lean like this you can see the improvements that have been happening over the past couple of months training lag, especially the definition on the side, which I am very pleased about for sure. Very pleased about that. And right now I'm about to weigh myself on the scale, just a simple digital scale right here, just to check my weight, what it is. This is in the afternoon, as you can see by the lighting outside. So in the morning, I of course weigh a little less, but right now on the scale, you, well, you can't see it, but I am seeing it that I weigh 109 kilograms. And I weighed uh, around 108 kilograms in the very morning. So that would be a challenge as right now we're moving on to the registration, which is at the evening at 7 p.m. in the evening. So that was going to be a problem if I did not uh, look out with my food, if I did not look out with my nutrition. But first, a speech of Bob. Chicarello. All right, Bob. Fired up. Right. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for all the cool you have heard this. Um, my name is Bob Chicarello. I'm one of your promoters on behalf of Two Bros. I welcome everybody uh, for this historic event. Uh, ISBD Pro League is here. Uh, and we're going to put on a hell of a show for you guys. Um, we welcome everybody and we thank you for coming out and supporting. I have BB Crowley. We've got four events lined up for you this year. Uh, this one starts it all off here in March. Seven of you uh, will make history. The overall winners will turn pro uh, right here on our stage, on the spot. Uh, I know you guys have been used to some, some very different uh, type of uh, activity when it comes to getting your pro card. Uh, as you've seen the advertisements, as you've seen us uh, come out with all of our information, you win, you're in. There's no committee, there's no, we'll let you know, there's no, well, we don't think you're ready, or you gotta do another 10 shows, you win, you're in. If you're the only, if there was three people in your class and you win, you're in. There is no, there wasn't enough people competing. That doesn't exist here. We put on a show, uh, we put these classes together, you guys support it, whatever's there, you beat, you win. Uh, no questions asked, so. Uh, we're going to have some people moving on to the pros. I said I would bring judges over from the U.S. Here they are. Let's welcome Bill, Tyler, 
Joe, Jerry Udich, your head judge. Jerry has uh, been on the Olympia panel for many years, one of our top judges in the country, in the world. So you've got an Olympia caliber panel. I promised, I delivered. Now, why do we do that? No politics. I guarantee you, not one of these guys has ever seen you guys before. They don't know who you are. They don't know where you train. They don't know who your trainer is. They don't know what gym you're a part of. They don't know where you placed in the past. They don't know any affiliation. They know two things when you walk in that stage, your number and what you look like. You got a, Not only do you have a chance, but for the first time for many, you have a fair chance. <laughs> Yeah, you can applaud that. That's okay. That's <laughs> Guys, listen on the one point. Show starts at 11 sharp. Second show will start at 3 o'clock sharp. We don't delay it. Because the people that are there deserve to go on stage when we've told them. So that's the key. You've spent 12 weeks guiding, you've spent a year training, you got to give me one day and I'll get you on that stage. We will get you up there, but you've got to be backstage, you've got to be over there ready to go and we will get you on that stage, I promise you. Now, as you heard, everything is organized very well. I really like the vibe and environment and atmosphere in this competition. So I'm already having a very good feeling about this, but now I'm quite nervous as I have to uh, get measured and weighed so my first my height needs to get measured here and depending on your height your weight is determined how much you can weigh what the weight cap is so i really needed to be above 62 and i only know my height in the morning and this is around 8 or 8 30 p.m already and we all know everyone is taller in the morning compared to the evening so my height is measured right now all right so as you heard i am six foot two and one quarter inch which i am very happy about and now we move on to the way in which actually is only an analog scale as you can see i thought it would be a professional scale uh, where you really cannot um, you know, have any opinion about it, it's just the truth. But an analog scale, really, if it's not calibrated right, could give a different weight. But you will see that right now. Okay, so right here I am actually getting undressed because I need to weigh. And when you weigh at a competition, at a contest, you can only wear the clothing that you wear on stage. So right now I'm wearing my Classic Physique trunks. That is the only item you're allowed to wear during the weigh-in as that is what you will weigh on stage as you know as they think the weigh-in here was on friday and the competition on sunday so obviously i was going to weigh heavier and as you can just hear the guy saying who registers my weight he said that I weighed 105 kilograms and this was around 8.30 p.m. in the evening so I honestly was pretty happy with the weight even though I normally would not be but my weight limit was 108 kilograms so with 105 I still had quite a lot to gain which is very nice for me. <laughs> Hey guys I'm in the hotel right now and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing in the hotel basically to um, eat my food to prepare for the show I already weighed in as you saw in the video and uh, I only weighed 105 kilograms and I was allowed to weigh 108 for my height and I'm al allowed to weigh even more when I'm going to do a pro classic physique show because this is an amateur show so hopefully if everything goes right on Sunday, which is tomorrow from today, then I'll be able to do the pro shows, which will look a lot better on my physique, in my opinion. But anyway, let's show you how I prepare my food and what items that I use and how I do it. So for example, there's a Tesco nearby, which is a UK grocery store 
called Tesco. And you can buy, or Sainsbury's, we also went there. And you can buy fish like this. These are um, basically vacuum sealed fresh fish. And um, the thing is, I cannot buy, uh, I mean, uh, smoked fish because there's a lot of salt in there. And I have to reduce my salt because I have to reduce my subcutaneous water and increase my potassium to increase my um, intracellular water, which is in the muscle cell. And my protein is reduced from 400 grams to about 250. So with every meal, I only have one of these, which is, you know, per 100 grams is 21.5 grams. And this is a 125 gram fillet. So that's about 25 grams of protein uh, for this meal. Of course, there's a lot of protein or well, some protein in the rice and the vegetables that I add and uh, the nuts that I eat, the almonds, but in total, probably around 30 grams of protein a meal, because it's not about the protein, it's about the carbs going into the muscle cell. So right here, I have the raw cod fillets, and right there is my grill that I use for every single fish. And uh, you will see how I'm going to do that, and uh, combine it with the rice and all of the rest. All right, guys, so what I'm about to do is I have the grill opened up, it's, I actually had to get a converter, my girlfriend actually got a converter for the power in the UK as this one, this plug, it doesn't fit in here, so we had to get something to convert it. So I have 250 grams of cooked basmati rice in here, and we're going to add some vegetables on the grill, making it a little bit sweeter, making it a little bit more digestible so we don't get any issues adding them to here, and then I'm going to add the fish, so let's do that. So what I have right here is some uh, zucchini, some actually some pumpkin right there, some red onion, some paprika, and the reasoning that I'm adding the vegetables to the rice is to actually blunt the insulin response. You don't want an insulin spike, you just want this to slowly assimilate into the muscle cell and not too fast, just to be able to get fuller. You don't want it to use as direct energy, you want it to be in the glycogen stores, not to be stored as fat, so adding the vegetables is only beneficial, it's healthy, delicious, and it'll make sure that it'll go in the muscle cell and do its job what it's supposed to do. What I also did is add some celery to this meal, some spinach and one egg, just for, for the fats. I'm also going to add some avocado for some extra fats, but this is very good as it deletes, decreases water retention and actually expels water from your body. And honestly, it's pretty delicious in this meal, very healthy as well. And trust me, guys, you may not like it when you're in a bulking mode, but when you're cutting in contest prep, any taste of vegetables is amazing. Learn to love it. So now I'm done grilling the fish, added some garlic and uh, black pepper herbs, only good for um, the burning of the fat, for the thermogenic effect and the taste, adding it to this beautiful meal, and we will enjoy it right now and i basically have these meals five to six times a day uh, without the breakfast included right now to really load up on the carbs let's do it and by the way every single breakfast will be with whey i never was able to take any whey any regular whey as it would bloat you with the lactose in there because it's not pure a lot of additives so i took the spc whey super protein complex whey with me I did that for my Czech Republic show as well. Every morning I had my breakfast with 40 to 50 grams of SPC whey by Vintage Genetics. Check it out on supplements.vintagegenetics.com. But it just makes it a little thicker. Um, I use overnight oats, so I put about 100 grams of oats in a bowl, 50 grams of the SPC, some cinnamon, some water. You don't have to use anything else but water put it near the window and it's pretty cold here it was pretty cold in uh, Czech Republic as well so when putting it there it turns into overnight oats and then in the morning I add some almonds maybe some blueberries uh, for extra carbs and that's it and it tastes amazing very good digestion haven't got any issues from it at all so if you're looking for a way if you normally are afraid to use it during contest prep I've used it up until the very last day in my conditioning has never suffered because of it. Ah! 
And next up on Vintage Genetics will be the show itself, the comparisons, um, the fight for the title, the overall. So make sure to check out the next video which I will upload in the next couple of days. It's going to be quite a lot of footage of backstage, on stage itself and afterwards, so check it out. I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to stay golden.